There is a new ghost hunting game everyone is talking about called Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. In this video I'm gonna show you how you investigate in this game and what is good about it and what is bad. First of all, Paranormal PI positions itself as a ghost hunting simulation. This means you cannot die in this game and it's very slow paced. It wants to be closer to real life ghost hunts while also telling you a story. The game is nicely narrated and there's lots of lore to read about. Your main objective is to go into a house, find the ghost, gather evidence and get out. Finding the ghost is not that hard though, the journal even tells you where you need to go. You usually first try to get EMF or temperature evidence. So just walk around at those two spots and try to get those evidences. For EMF you just need some light flickering, be careful though, electronics can also give you an EMF reading. To get the temperature reading you need a drop to about 15 degrees celsius. Don't point it to floor vents or at the fridge, those will give you lower readings as well. Try to get both of these readings multiple times, at least two times. The more evidence you gather, the more active the ghost will get. You should be able to hear more noises that you can record with your voice recorder. You can also record noises if things are being thrown around. You can also try to talk to the ghost with the voice recorder, but you will rarely get an answer. In fact, it's much easier to just listen for noises and then record them to get the trophy. Do this multiple times and you will very likely get the ghost to show up. As soon as the ghost shows up, you should bring out your cam, turn on the night vision and take a photo of him. While it's manifesting, you should take photos of it like a paparazzi. So hammer down that spacebar so you get a ton of pictures of it. And this is basically all you need to do, the game will figure out the ghost for you and put it into the journal. So you just have to go back to the truck to end the investigation. The good thing about this game is that it has a nice atmosphere. There are a few jump scares in it, but they work very well since the game is very slow paced. It is also nice that this game is more going down the route of observing behavior. And here is where I think this game falls apart in its current state. Small disclaimer, this is not meant to shit on this game, this is meant to spark a discussion on how you could make this game better. I would very much like to see this game improve since I really like the concept of it. There's two main gripes I have with this game right now. The first one is that there is not a lot of gameplay in this game. It is pretty much a waiting simulator where I cannot even control the outcome. And by outcome I mean I would very much like to select the ghost type that we figured out. This game puts out so much lore about the ghosts, it would be great if we could actually figure out the ghost ourselves. These lore pages are pretty much meaningless in the current gameplay. You could make a trophy making us trying to select the right ghost. The second gripe I have with this game is that it is very static. And by static I mean you even have to gather the evidence in a certain order. You could waste an hour trying to get voice recorder evidence if you haven't tried to get EMF yet. I would very much prefer if there was a complex system behind this where evidence appears randomly. In its current state you can just speedrun this evidence gathering and you know exactly what you're gonna get. And it's the same thing every time you play it. Let me know in the comments what you think should change in this game. Thank you guys for watching and we see us in the next one. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmutz.